Hello and welcome friends, MS Terrain Lab here and another episode for you. As you can see some progress was done. The whole in area is almost done. Two main buildings are standing. And in today's episode we will just uh, look around and I will explain what is happening and stuff like that. So uh, let's start. I think the first place we will look on is the basement. Some small problems with focus, sorry for that. Yeah, it should be better in a second, but uh, as you can see, there is uh, one wall that was uh, collapsed or destroyed. So that's kind of the main entrance uh, from outside the in area. Another collapsed wall uh, leading to the sewer system and uh, also light. You could see there, there's some cables. I think for this corner I will just make a uh, lantern standing on some uh, wooden box or something like that. And in the right corner you can see this empty polystyrene space. Uh, I will put some wooden doors there leading to some unknown space under the inn. Here we have uh, my uh, newest invention. I mean a small piece I added later on. It was not in the plan. I thought it would look cool with uh, extra wall there as you can see it's just the fragment of the building i think i will uh, make it as a stable or something like that the bottom level and here um, you can see a part of the staircase leading to the first floor maybe i will add a separate uh, piece uh, so we can connect those two levels And yeah, first removable element. I mean, uh, it's not really necessary to do that, but I thought it's uh, really close to the edge of the board and it's uh, quite tall. So just to be safe while transporting this board or moving it around also a storage uh, is better that way, I think. And here we have the main building. I was trying to make it a little more like a real inn or tavern, or whatever you will call it. So uh, there's some extra doors, as you can see, imitating that there were rooms on the upper floors. Middle floor here. Also, you could see some uh, extra walls there. And a main uh, room right there and here we have uh, I don't know how to call it a connection point between two buildings it's a small area but uh, as you can see two tiles are connecting in that spot so uh, it was necessary to make some space in between those pieces I think it looks quite cool and uh, with all the rubble added later on it will be quite nice, I think. You can also see there is some catwalk or balcony. I think I will add a little more here and there, but uh, for now it's good. And now let's look on the second building here. As I said before, I was trying to make it a little more lived in, so uh, that's a bathroom area. You can see some toilets. So maybe it's hard to see. Yeah, it's just for fun. And sewer entrance right there. In theory, you could move uh, between the basement of the inn and this entrance, so it's like an extra additional path. And now we will just move slowly up to see the whole building. I'm planning to add also some uh, maybe small separate uh, floor elements to put on top. As you can see, there is a lot of gaps. Floors are not totally covered. The idea behind that is so you can put your hand there and place the miniature because I, I really didn't want to make it uh, unaccessible. Uh, 
And here uh, we can uh, look on the whole area from another side. As you can see, those two buildings are connected by this uh, small, totally destroyed one. All the elements are mostly done. As I mentioned before, we would need to add some small uh, pieces of wood here and there, maybe some supports to make it look a little better. Oh yeah, and uh, here you have the entrance to the basement from outside. And just a look on the ground floor from outside. And another element I managed to build light and it's removable. And it's not working correctly. Yeah, I need to fix it. closer look on some elements. As you can see, I covered the outside of those roofs with some uh, pieces of wood and then uh, the rest is covered with the uh, tiles. I'm using some thin cardboard to imitate the tiles. And here we have a balcony, partially destroyed. I was really trying to make it really accessible from every side. So we have those balconies, we have some open spaces on higher floors, so uh, it really can be used during the gameplay. And yeah, also those two big buildings are removable for storage and transportation. And maybe in the future also for uh, exchanging those elements. I mean, uh, we could put some other building there, or at least more ruined or something like that. And the second two, as you can see. And sorry for that, it's really hard to move it with one hand, but yeah, there is a slot for the small battery there to power this light. And uh, that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Signing out.